He thought about the women he'd smoked like cigarettes, and about how one day he'd go to sleep and never wake up. He thought about the words he'd swung like baseball bats, and about how life can sometimes strike like lightning and burn sand in the glass. He thought he'd seen everything, been everywhere, but he'd never partaken in the greatest adventure of them all. Right then, something in the universe clicked. And with one glance, they knew that it'd be a terrible lie to do anything other than leave and never come back. Like your boat. Thanks. It's a submarine, not a boat. Submarines are boats. No. So he told her about the time he accidentally destroyed a Russian submarine, and the other time he'd accidentally built one. And she told him about the time she escaped from North Korea using two celery sticks and some peanut butter. And when they ran out of their own stories, they told each other everyone else's. So that together, they'd lived a thousand lives and died a thousand deaths. Do cops love robbers? Would they chase them if they didn't? Maybe they're bored. I don't know. What I do know is that I love you more than more than a compass loves north. Will you marry me? It looks like I don't have a choice. And for a short while. They were truly happy. But the world turns, and we turn with it. Fuck. on the lack of gravity, but something was different. It'd be kind of nice to get out somewhere. How come we don't do anything fun anymore? What do you mean? I mean, we used to go on adventures. It was so exciting. There was so much chaos and so much danger. That's what I mean. I'm just a man, Stacy. I'm not an idea. So it's not like you suggested anything risky lately. Hey. Hey, did I ever tell you about that time I escaped from North Korea? Yeah.
bad days turned into bad months, and bad months into bad years, until one day, they barely recognized each other. But I just think maybe I should look at it because I know about this stuff. Really? And how many ships have you built? How many have you broken? It's a sanitation system, it's not rocket science. Fuck you. I'm sorry. I never thought we'd go on forever. I did. We made it almost halfway. Halfway to what? Halfway to forever. about the women he'd smoked like cigarettes and about how one day he'd go to sleep and never wake up. But today was not that day as much as he may have wanted it to be. And there they were uncertain of the future, of the past, of who they were, where they were, what they were, and why they were. One thing was certain though, adventure was calling their name. <laughs>